Hey everybody, and welcome to a special episode of Sockets and Cylinders. We're here at Dorman's corporate headquarters. We're going to tour the facility a little bit. We're going to see some of the areas where they develop all the products to help keep you moving. Andrew, this is our new product development area here at Dorman. Why don't you tell us a bit about the product development process? Sure. So it all starts in PGI Aviation behind you. They have no product or sales responsibility. Their job is to listen to our customers and our customers' customer to find out what they're going back to the dealer for. Once they determine what those items are, they then pass that information along to this team, PGM Product Group New. This group only works on OE exclusive products for about 12 to 16 months, and after that time period, those products will get transitioned to another group that we're walking into now, PGD, that focuses on looking at the entire product line and expanding the coverage. So at this point, you've already created the product and now you're looking to expand that product line out. Correct. And all along the way, we're looking for more and more of those OE fix opportunities to differentiate ourselves. So even though it could become a competitive line, what other things can we do for our customers to, to add value, whether it's re-engineering a known failure, adding parts to make a complete kit, or replacing only the piece that fails as opposed to the whole enti expensive entire assembly. Always going above and beyond for the customer. Trying our best based on feedback from you and your customers. That's great. Now we're walking into what all of our viewers at home should recognize from their local Smith Automotive, which is the retail area. Yes, PGX focuses on all the front room products. A lot of our products are back room, behind the shelf brown box. These are up front um, uh, retail space products. Come into your local Smith Automotive to pick up your dormant products. Thank you. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the new episode of Sockets and Cylinders. We're back at the Dorman Test Fit Facility in Colmar, Pennsylvania. Joined again today by Lester Kovacs, Dorman's Director of Product Ideation. Great to be back, Andrew. Thank you for having us back. We're really glad to be here and continuing to learn about these Dorman products. Um, today we have another OE Fix solution here in the table in front of us. Why don't you tell us what we're looking at? That's correct. This is a two-piece drive shaft for 2004-2008 F-150. Very popular applications, new, not remanufactured. A lot of other solutions out there in the aftermarket are remanufactured. This is brand new. Um, typically, in the past, the only two ways to get this part was to go back to the dealer and pay a high premium for a failure-prone design, or you would go to a drive shaft specialist that could take a couple days to uh, turn it around, depending on uh, what the failure was. So now with the new unit here that we have, obviously it's in a couple different pieces, how much time is doing it this way gonna save someone? So it doesn't save a ton of time from an install perspective, it saves from a service perspective. Let me use my prop over here and illustrate what I'm talking about. Most OEMs now use a staked in style universal joint, okay. which is not serviceable. So when you have that in there, you have to replace the whole entire drive shaft. Once they purchase this drive shaft from you in the aftermarket through Smythe Automotive, it will now have a serviceable U-joint. So when the universal joint fails again, which is the most common failure point, they will have a way to service it. So a piece like this here could necessitate a complete replacement of the entire drive shaft in the system? That's correct, if you're using an OEM part. Wow. So now, dormant serviceable U-joint, if this does happen to fail again at some point in the future, all you got to do is replace this piece here? That's correct. That's great comes in two pieces, so what do we have to do to get this installed on a vehicle? Okay, um, typically what I recommend is, is taking it to a recommend, uh, to a authorized repair facility. It's not super hard, as you can see here, it's two pieces, it's put together. One of the things, one of the value-added benefits of Dorman's is we ship it together separately. Most other suppliers and the OEMs ship it together because it has to be balanced. So Dorman's is balanced, but what we've done to, uh, in order to ship it more easily is we've actually pre-balanced it and we give the user a way to identify it and then put it back together having it be balanced. So, so they line it up and everything's balanced and will work. Correct, correct. Making it much easier to transport, to stock on the shelf and also ship it out to the customer. The drive shaft's not balanced correctly. What happens, what are some of the symptoms of an unbalanced drive shaft? Great question. That consumer will know right away. If you have an unbalanced drive shaft, that steering wheel will shake and the whole, the whole entire vehicle will, will, will have a noticeable shake that will be annoying and eventually can be unsafe. Oh, wow. So it comes like this. It can get shipped directly to a consumer's home or to a repair shop. Um, it's a DIY job. You and I were talking a little bit about this earlier but we recommend going to a Parts Plus car care center and having them do it. 
it's something you can do at home, but safety wise, it's a lot better to bring it up and put it on a real lift rather than trying to struggle with it under the vehicle in your driveway. I recommend that. And one, th one more thing to add, we also include free ground shipping for all of our drive shafts as well too, because it's obviously a heavy piece of equipment um, to offset any extra expense. So whether somebody decides to do it at home or send it to a car care center, shipping is going to continue to be free from Dorman. Free ground shipping, that's correct, Andrew. That's great. Thank you for teaching us about what the drive shaft is, how it comes. Let's get over to the vehicle and get with Nick and start doing the installation. Awesome, let's go. All right, we're back out here in the shop with Nick D'Alessio, Dorman's ASC certified master technician. Today we're gonna to start running through the drive shaft removal and installation. Yep. All right, so step one. First thing I would do, make sure, wear your eye protection, gloves, keep yourself safe. Um, and secondly, most important is to go around and spray all your nuts and bolts you're about to remove with some penetrating solvent to make it quick and easy. You can pick up any type of different brand of penetrating oil from your local automotive supplier. They have them in all sorts of flavors and variations. I like so. to call Smite for that. Yeah, well there you go. Everybody does. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is kind of get under the car and you'll start working on it. Yeah, absolutely. All right. With the vehicle neutral, you want to raise it up on a lift or a jack with jack stands. Remove and discard the four drive shaft flange bolts. The drive shaft flange fits tightly on the flange pilot. Never hammer on the drive shaft or any of its components to disconnect the drive shaft flange from the flange pilot. Then remove the two drive shaft center bearing bolts. Pry gently to make sure you do not damage the flange surface. Lower the drive shaft and slide the drive shaft slip yoke rearward of the output shaft. When you're reinstalling, make sure that the drive shaft flanges seat squarely on the pinion flange pilots. Be sure to use new bolts when reinstalling. Tighten the drive shaft flange bolts evenly in a cross pattern or damage to the drive shaft flange can occur. All right, so Nick's got the new drive shaft all bolted in and installed. We're going to lower it on down and take it for a test drive. Thanks again for joining us on today's episode of Sockets and Cylinders. Nick, Lester, thank you guys for teaching us how to do the work, teaching us about the products and for saving everybody some time and some money and creating some great quality products for our customers. Join us next time on Sockets and Cylinders and we'll have some more information about another fix for your vehicle. Click on the links, follow us to the Dorman website, to the Smythe website, follow us on social media and we'll see you next time.